Have I got a surprise for you? Pack your bags. Uh, no, you guys are supposed to get this for so save seven years. What's no? I'm taking Monica to a romantic inn in Vermont. A uh, good. Okay, good for you. Trying to recapture the magic. So, what do you say? Can you get our Honey, I can't. I was telling these guys that things are crazy at the restaurant. You're really that busy? Yes, I'm sorry. I really am. Well, that's okay. I'll try and reschedule. Hi, this truck is being. I made a reservation there and I need to train it. What do you mean it's non refundable? Well, can I just come some other time? Well, can you make an expression? No, look, it really ridiculous. I'm not paying for that room, okay? Well, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going to Vermont. Oh, don't worry about it. Just use your travel insurance. Don't have a travel insurance. Well, this is what happens when people live on the east. Why don't you take roads? Don't you think that's be a little wet? I mean two guys in a romantic inn? No, not if the room has two beds. I guess it still seem a little moonlight but dry. Have I got a surprise for you? Pack your bags. Bags is a general team for different types of containers for you use to transport your clothes or other belongings. When you're traveling, your bag is where you carry what you need for your chief. Other type of bags are suitcase, duffy, pass, pack bag, isola. If you're traveling, all of these bags were maintained. Your luggage or baggage will have virtually the same. And to pack your bag means to fill your bag with clothes and other items you need for traveling. Pack your bags. Where have we gone? Everywhere, Joyce G. Space Camp, the basic hall of fame. Everything you and I have ev but haven't able to because of this delicious family. Guelph, if you see him, see him, tell him to pack his bag. We are going to Minsk. Minsk? Miss is uh, in Russia. I know where Miss is. Also, sometimes we say pack your bag as an expression to say we are leaving a place, especially after an argument or disagreement. This guy could be. Oh no, you guys are supposed to get the curve for seven years. What? No, I'm talking Monica to a romantic inn in Vermont. An inn is more usually privately owned hotel. Vermont is a state in New England in the northeast of the United States that borders on New York. There are many types of accommodation place to stay you can find. You surely know what a hotel is, but have you heard of the other common exams? Bed and breakfast, similar to an inn, but this can even be a check room in one's home. That's the rent to tell tourists and may include some meals. Motel, a cheap basic hotel that's usually easier e e to stop and sleep while traveling a long distance by car. All inclusive, a big resort as usually has its own service, so you are not required to leave the property. They usually have food and alcoholic drinks included in the price and are popular when people want to travel without any worries. When you travel, what's your favorite type of accommodation? Prestige your English by reading it in the comments. And look at all the other viewers have said. So, what do you say? Can you get our work? They use a connected speech, in especially present in this 
Uterin, what do you say? Get out of work. Not how we say. What did you say? Get out of work. This how native speaker really speak. Saying the without connected speech would result with each other's sudden utterance. What do you say? And get out of work. You seen that's the same redu reduction and linking of you are lower. Lo what do you think? What do you want, mom? What are you suppose he's doing here? Sharon, get out of my way. Get out of here, man. It's get out of here, man. That's how you say it. Get out of my heart, loose. I'm just uh, trying to reschedule. This traveling, I made a reservation there and I need to train it. To schedule means to plan that something will happen at a particular time. I've scheduled a meeting for tomorrow. To reschedule is to train the time of what you reverse schedule it. A reservation is an agreement you make to that's a place in a hotel, restaurant, plan, etc. It's key for you as particular time in the future. To express the action, we say to make a reservation. Well, here we are. I had a reservation at a first test in overlooking the ocean, but how can that's complete with such a beautiful, magnificent hotel. Welcome to the Acadian. If you need to, you can cancel your reservation. What are we doing? Should not we check into our hotel right now? Oh, we consider your reservation. Family does stay at home. You are gonna stay in our home. Great, great. What? Booking is another was was that we can use instead of reservation. You make a booking for a hotel or a flight. I made a booking for two double rooms. Now, as a verb, we can say to book a room, to book a flight, or to book a reservation. We just booked our flight to Paris. When you book a reservation, you leave your name, so a common question. You might be asked when you are at the hotel reception is under what name is your reservation booked. Excuse me, what name are your reservation booked? The San Diego Dance Academy? Wow. Ah, your ladies are actually traveling on this suit to Eden East. To all the very common hotel related press are uh, check in and check out. To check in is to re register at a hotel to check out is to leave the hotel after paying the bill. You do this at the reception which we also call the front the main room of the hotel where we find the front desk is called lobby. A couple of questions that could be useful for you at the hotel are Do you allow early check-in? For when you arrive earlier than the hotel state check-in time. What time is check-out? At what time you are supported to leave your room if you don't want to be changed another night? Do you allow late check-out? For when you want to leave later than the state check out time. What do you mean is non refundable? Well, can't you make an exception? To refund or to give a refund is to give someone their money back, especially when they are not satisfied with the service. In this case, charter reservation is non refundable, which is another way 
of saying is not refundable. Well, can you make an exception? Although the standard pronunciation of this could be can you, it's very common to hear can't you. In the following example, you will hear can't you. We'll give you a few seconds after each utterance to make me. Why can't you take a couple of days off? Well, why can't you fleece them tomorrow? Can't you at least smile something? Sometimes, few people pronounce can't you like this. But can you leave the dollar? This money is for the poor. I'm poor. I got to take the bus. Puppy, you can have. Can you? I have plans. I mean, can you pick up? I don't know. The exchanges here. Look, this is ridiculous. I'm not paying for that room. Okay. When we say ridiculous as an exclamation, we generally mean that something is unreliable. What a brain transplant! It's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous that you haven't had sex in three and a half months. Yeah, I'm going to Vermont. Oh, don't worry about it. Does you your travel insurance? I don't have a travel insurance. Well, this is what happens when people live on the east. Insurance is a policy that you buy from a company that guarantees compensation in case of loss or damage. Common tips are insurance are car insurance, homeowner insurance. Hair insurance. If you go on a trip, you might get travel insurance. In case you need to, for example, can your hotel or train the days of a flight. If you live on the east, you have a life with many danger and risk, especially because you like to behave in a extreme and unusual way. A lot of time, however, we like to rock by using the expression when we say that we do something that's actually in notion. I like to live on the edge. I don't have a phone case. How could you have a eating dose? I mean, I may shut a completing argument. I like to live life on the edge. Thank you. You never know. The humor here, as French fans will know, is that row is very cautious. So although for most people it would be normal to not get travel, for us it seems reckless. Ricky and Darius, I guess it still seems a little. Moonlight boat ride. A moonlight boat ride is a boat trip under the light from the moon. Obviously, a Monday boat ride is very mon- romantic occasion, and although Rose finds it worth staying at a hotel, quite comically seem quite excited about the boat ride. Hi, Chen Bing. I have welcome to the Channel Inn, Miss Bing. So, New York, the big opera. I'm sorry, he's a little worn out. He has stopped every marble candy stand on the way. I add all my gift for everybody. I'm sorry, Mister Bing. There's no record of your reservation in my computer. Well, that's impossible. Can you check again, please? Check again, please. I'm sorry, it's not here. Not there. Let me guess this chest. I called yesterday to try to cancel my reservation. What so it's not? When widow is sick, how all the way up here? That we don't have a reservation. I don't know. She don't know what to say. 
Just give us a justice from you. Wow, unfortunately, the only thing we have available is our list. The list, the rest is six hundred dollars. That is story instant. Do let's let drive home. We will hit all the maple candy store on the way back. And this day close, then maybe we will tap a tree and make some honest ourselves. Does that room have a closet? I can, I can lock him in. We'll take it. Great. Dude, they are totally ripping us off. Dude, don't worry about it. I know how the this night hotel you know plenty amenities. We just lot up on those like those apples in this of taking one. Hmm, I take six. Great at one hundred dollar an apple we there. So we are New York the big apple. The Big Apple is a nickname for New York City. No one knows what the exact origin of this nickname is, but it's certain engine. The one explained in this funny clip. The Big Apple, Ron Buck, Ronnie is back. Why do they call it the Big Apple, Ron? Because New York has been up for tree on every street. I'm sorry, he has a little bit wandered up. He had a stop at very maple candy stand on the way. I ate all my gift for everybody. If someone is grown up, they are very tense and nervous or angry. But then you come to a place like this because it's you of look. Are you okay? You seem kind of grown up. Why not? No, I'm just pumper. I'm exciting, you know. Rock solid, ready to go a little bit paranoid, but feeling really good. In this sense, Rock certainly looks good up, which, according to Chocolate, is because he's been eating a lot of maple candy. This candy has a lot of sugar, so that's why Rock is hyperactive. Shall I talk about the maple candy stands? A stand is a temporary structure used for selling things like food or drink. For example, a hot dog stand. I'm sorry, Mitch being there, no rich code of your reservation in computer. A record in this case is information stored on a computer or paper with a purpose of being looked at the Future. If you make a reservation at a hotel, there should be a record of its connecti- containing information such as your name, your phone, etc. This might suit creepy, but do you have record of we? Wow, that was easy. Let me get stressed. I called yesterday to try to cancel my reservation. Was store is not refundable? That something straight means to understand something correctly. We usually say, let me guess it straight. When we want to make sure we understood something clearly. Okay, let me guess this straight. It's okay for you to flip. I'm sorry, so glad we cleared that up. Alright, so let me guess this straight. You have something you knew that's probably dangerous in order to impress a girl who who you thus met. Then we drove this hall all the way up here. Thus we don't have a reservation. We use all the way with some verbs of movement to impress her. Thus you are. No, no, this is not what I ordered, okay? I went all the way to New Jersey so that I could have a perfect cake for my daughter's birthday and I need a bunny cake right now. I don't know what to say. She don't know what to say. Here, I don't know. It's due to... I don't know. I don't know what to say. This is extremely common in everyday speed as you see in the following example. I don't know what that means. I don't know what do you want to understand about what is your set. 
I don't know what Sally told you about me, but um, I'm not. We often write this as I do know in text messages, but obviously you should not. Thus, give when and Fortunately, that's the only thing we have available is our daily suit. The rest is $600. Rest is an amount that is paid. She is paid and her rest of a common collocation is interest. Red week is the extra money you pay back after getting a loan from a bank. What is the interest rate on the loan? A zero is a growth. A broom in a hotel that is yielded by one person, corporate family, etc. And that is more expensive than a regular room. Delos means of better quality and more expensive than other things. In this sense, you could say that a five star hotel is a Delos hotel. Another example are certain products that's coming there regular and a deluxe an addition that includes extra features and that costs more. For example, a Delos DVD collection or a Delos book edition. Hi hey guys, check in the Delos limited edition with West and Witches in the Cine and number collection. Come on, no, we just bought the regular bag. Do let's drive home. We will hit all the maple candy store on the way back. This meaning of his is used as an informal alternative to go to a ride. Come on, Xembra, to hit the game or to hit the beach. Listen, you just drive down from these streets. The last room have a clock, and I clock him in. Will take it. To love someone or something in a place means to put or keep someone or something in a locked box room, etc. If a place is locked, the person who locked it inside can get out of it. Charlotte says, "Well, take it." We say this when we accept an offer. We normally say this with will. Okay, that is on here's a dog last fur. Now it's a little more money, but you get a nice meal. Look good, I can take it. Do you get confused about when you should be? We explain all about the use of green and how to master the future tense in lesson. Do they are totally ripping us off? To rip someone off is to make them pay too much money for a product or service. I think you got. Hey, I can. That's fine. Trust me, he did not get ripped off. Dude, don't worry about it. I know how we make your money back. This night hotel, you know, plenty of amenities. Amenity is something that makes a place comfortable or easy for some common amenity you might want to find in hotel are uh, Wi-Fi. Room service, a case park, swimming pool, etc. A common collocation is basic amenities which are referred to a basic such as running water or gas. Most how last basic amenity in this poor town. This in nine hotel we lot up there, like the apple in, instead of talking one. Mm, I take six. The amenity that row is referred to here are free resource given by the hotel like sample lotion and snacks. To get a lot of something so that you are sure you will have enough. For example, if you are, you might want to load up snack for when you start to get hungry. Now, what's the sense without supply?